Stromblock definitely has the potential to be one of the most life-changing projects in a long time in this space. Because anyone can simply start off with one or a few nodes and make some life-changing money in the span of a year. Today I'm going to show you guys what my journey with Stromblock has been so far since I started back in November. I will also show you guys how much my Stromblock nodes made me in January last month. Also show you that I ate in a little bit more last month. Then I'll talk about my strategy going forward. We'll look at Stromblock's price and charts. Talk about the best times to buy, sell and compound from my experience so far and go over any Stromblock updates. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So currently Strong is around $471, which it's pretty much been here since January 22nd. And we've just been consolidating here. Before that, we had gone all the way up to a high of $740 in the beginning of January before this big drop down. Of course, this drop was in sync with the rest of the crypto market. Um, as you guys know, started off the year really bad. And now it's been pretty pretty much just consolidating here after that. If we zoom out to the weekly chart, you can see that we're actually right on this support area. And this is a very important support here for strong because you'll notice that we've bounced here at this support multiple times over the lifespan of strong. So if we expect this same trend to continue, I'm expecting current prices to pretty much be the bottom. All right, next let's highlight some of the stuff that was covered in the previous AMA, which happened on February 5th, so about four days ago. Now the AMA answers were a little vague, but we did get some uh, clues and hints at what's coming next. So the first thing here is that they're building their strong chain. David said that this will basically be the most efficient and the best option for the strong community overall, especially when it comes to gas fees and things like that. So the next thing that David said right here was that they will have a light paper coming out. It will be published this month. The light paper will have information on tapering as well. What she said is currently morphing right now due to some breakthroughs. So hopefully that's bullish, meaning that the tapering is not that bad. So again, no clarifications on the tapering models, how it's gonna work yet. Last month, he said there was a medium post coming up in January. Now this month, they're saying that there's a light paper coming up in February. So there's nothing we could do but wait at this point. So the next thing here was about the breakthrough that they had with the gas fees. So the lowering of gas fees approach that they're testing now involves consolidating nodes per wallet. So basically you're getting charged a gas fee for every node that you claim. So if you claim one node versus claiming 10 nodes, it's a lot cheaper to just claim one versus 10. But with the new model that they're testing out, they're trying to make it so that whether you're claiming just one or 10, the gas fee stays the same. So they're currently working on it and testing it on Polygon nodes. He said that if the tests are successful, they're going to roll it out into Polygon nodes and eventually into Ethereum nodes as well. So those are pretty much the highlights from that AMA. They're going to have another AMA very soon. All right, so finally, the moment you've all been waiting for it, let's take a look at how many nodes I have and how much I made last month. So currently I have 12 nodes up and running. So with 12 nodes, that means that I'm currently making about $548 per day, $3,840 per week, $16,457 per month, and about $200,000 per year. Now for simple math, I always just estimate that the price of strong is at $500. Obviously this can all vary and fluctuates with the market. Now in January, I started out with just five nodes and with the compounding plus me just wanting to get into double digits faster, I ended the month with 10 nodes. So I basically doubled my node count during January. So my total out of pocket investment at this point is probably getting close to that $50,000 area, but I am cutting myself off. I am not coming out of pocket for any more nodes. 
the plan from here on out is to build it up. And as you guys can see, I basically have a projection model that I set up and I've been running through. And based on this model, if I'm only compounding every single day and I'm not taking out profits, by the end of this month, I should have 15 nodes. And by the end of next month, I should hit 20 nodes. So to give you guys an idea of what 20 nodes is going to look like, depending where the price of strong goes, I would be expected to make around $27,000 a month at that point at 20. Now, if I were to continue doing this throughout June, you'll see that by June 11th, I would hit 40 nodes. So now, of course, this only happens in that way if I only compound and take no profits whatsoever. Right now, I'm still not sure when I'm going to begin to take out some profits. I definitely want to get to the 20s before I do. But it also depends on any news, updates, events that comes out of Strongblock and out of uh, David Moss. If there's any uh, changes to the structure, if the price goes up higher, which would make it easier to get my return back. So it's going to vary and I'll keep you guys, of course, updated. But my mindset and my plan right now is to just compound while prices are low so that when prices are high, then I can sell and take some profits. So for example, if the price ever goes back up to like the thousand dollar mark, or even if it goes back up to like the $700 area, at that point, I'll be looking to take at least some profits rather than compounding. And then when the market drops back down, like it currently is right now, then I'm only looking to compound and build my position bigger and bigger. So how much money exactly did strong nodes make me in January? In January, I made 21.66 strong or $10,800. So not bad at all. Remember, I started with five strong, which would have made me around $6,000. But because I added on throughout the month, it made me a total of $10,000. At 12, I'm expected to make 16,000 this month. However, because I will continue to compound this month, I'm expecting to make probably a little bit more than that. The goal by the end of this year, of course, is to hit 100 total strong nodes. At that point, that would be paying out $4,500 a day, 32,000 per week and 137,000 per month for a total of 1.6 million per year. Just think about those numbers, that's insane. Now we don't know if um, the reward model is gonna stay the same, if the uh, price of strong is gonna stay the same, so there's a lot of factors that come with it, which is also why there's a lot of risk that comes with it. Now, although it may seem like I'm aping in, it still is only a small fraction of my total portfolio. So please keep that in mind when you're deciding whether or not you wanna get into strong nodes and how much you wanna put into it. So if I only compounded without taking any profits until September, I would hit the goal of 100 nodes in 235 days, which is more or less around September 24th. 5th, September 24th. So even if I'm taking profits before then, I'm expecting to hit 100 nodes before the end of the year. So my strategy for compounding or taking profits or just claiming strong nodes is pretty simple. The pattern that I've noticed in strong is that on Sunday is usually when the price of strong is at its lowest point, while on Fridays is usually when the price of strong is at its highest point. Here's another Sunday on the 30th, price closed at 467, while on the Friday, the 28th, price closed at 514. Again, on the 23rd and 24th, price closed at 466 and 456, while that Friday, it was over 500 at 568. So if you go back, you'll notice this pattern happens over and over again, usually Sundays, are when it's cheapest while Fridays are when it's most expensive. So the strategy here is simply if you're looking to buy strong nodes, you want to buy them on Sundays. And if you're looking to take profit or sell them, you want to sell them on Fridays. If you're asking why Sundays, it's because that's usually when gas prices are the cheapest. So until that changes with gas prices, this will probably be the same pattern that will continue. Now, one trick that I have found, if you want to create nodes throughout the week, but you still want to pay low gas fees. For example, if I hit here to claim right now, the gas fee alone is $719. So that means that $10 is what I'm actually paying 
as the fee to claim my strong tokens. And then everything else is in the gas prices. You can see that I just hit $800 there. So now would not be the time to be claiming or trying to create new nodes because it's just way too expensive. It doesn't even make sense. So what I'd like to do, I go over here where it says edit, I hit edit. Then I hit where it says more options. And you see where it says max fee here currently is at 291. I change this to 80 and you see at 80 is still expensive. It's still $216. So if you want to try to get under that, maybe um, 70, you could have set it up on 70 during the week. I don't think gas prices hit 70, but you could get lucky. So here my total would be $189. I would hit save. And now you can see here that I have 189 plus a $10 fee. My total would at this point be $200 to claim these rewards. So I would just hit confirm and now it's not going to go through right away. So what's going to happen, it's going to be pending for a while. Usually this goes through either at night or overnight. So sometimes I'll just set it up and leave it overnight. So by the time I wake up in the morning, the order would have gone through and either my note will be set up or um, I'll have my claim has gone through or whatever the case, whatever it is I'm trying to do at that point. So that's currently what I've been doing if I'm trying to either claim or create new nodes throughout the week. I'm just manually setting the max fee that I want to pay in, in the gas price and then just leaving it on pending. Um, it usually takes a few hours. Eventually it goes through. And after a full day, if it hasn't gone through, then your price is probably too low and you just need to raise it up. I would say probably 80 almost always goes through for me at night. So if you're experimenting with any prices under 80 um, and it doesn't go through, then just set it up at 80. Eventually it will go through. All right, guys. So I pretty much covered everything that I wanted to talk about. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to answer every single one of them. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications as I continue to update you guys on my journey so you can see how it goes for me. And of course, guys, don't forget to smash the like button on this video. It helps a ton with the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.